Okay, so free preset in this one will be available to download on my website, but follow this tutorial if you want to understand the tools, how to work with color, how to work with curves. This one's particularly important to understand the curves to be able to recreate a style like this. Any style is, is it's important to understand the curves. So we've done heaps of tutorials on him before, but this time we are going from this image to this one matching this one over here so so yeah let's get into it as before and we're trying to go for the stylized look this one to match it the rest of his images and color palette and style okay so we come back so we've just got the curves already done and i'll explain the curves later on about what role they play how they affect the contrast and color and everything a little later on when it makes a bit more sense but we will up the exposure because the curves really darkened our image. Uh, contrast down, drop the whites and highlights. This is for style reasons, very common style to drop that for the silky matte look. Uh, blacks down for some crunch. Uh, clarity, so his shot has so much texture and crunch and contrast so I'm gonna go with something like this pop to the color okay so if we reset and see how that f like flattens and takes out a lot of contrast uh, we'll come back to it soon again okay we're gonna really up the warmth really up the warmth bring out all those oranges because he like he favors whatever colors are naturally in your image you sort of like uh, run and emphasize those colors so we're em emphasizing the warm tones uh, split toning let's go like this greenish blue a teal in the shadows and then in the highlights let's go just to balance out that greenish tone in the shadows now you can see that we're very green but i've done so many tutorials on him before i'm gonna move this to the right and then like it's it's like it's like white balance but only in your shadows and i really like to use it uh, and we're going to come a long way to the right you can see that gets our tones and then we have so many oranges and reds and yellows so we're gonna just accentuate them uh, back up top it's fine tune um, whites can come up a bit but we are a bit too saturated and stuff so let's drop 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 his style typically we drop these a lot we let the oranges and that really emphasize themselves and we've got enough blue in the split toning anyway uh, oranges maybe and then the reds, let's go a little more orange, yellows, there's not a lot of blue and greens in here but we want warmer tone I think, no, go this way, not a lot, but we'll go for some teals, or more green, blue, we'll go for less of a purple, more of a green, very subtle but I want like more redness let's go this way okay so uh, luminance yellows yes yes brighter oranges touch for a bit of pop luminance is the brightness of colors uh, aqua yeah I think we're good okay and then we've got a brush on the subject here so potentially I could leave this alone or I could like cool down the subject and then he gets a bit more contrast between him and all the warm tones highlights just like a touch of brightness to the subject but not too much so it stays natural looking okay so let's talk about the curves so so if we reset so you can see how there's so much more contrast and harshness this is the power of the curves that can really like smooth out your image give that silky matte look this curve if we reset it you can see especially in the shadows it's really smoothing it out and then this one reset is like it's doing the same but 
through the whole image so like the mid tones the highlights and then this curve reset uh, we're adding a touch more green into the middle of the image so quite often I see he's got this green in the skin tones and then just like pulling out a bit of that green in the shadows and blacks to offset it and make those blacks like quite black so yeah it's the curves on and off very important to understand especially the difference between sliders and curves because if you don't know the difference and how to work with them both you'll you'll just like make your image darker um it'll just look muddy where you can get like a bright silky underexposed image if you understand the tools uh, we do need to enable profile corrections canon 2470 uh and we will do some grain so let's put it up let's drop the size up the roughness probably go for something like that uh, reset after reset and after uh, I do kind of want like more shadow and more smoothness like oh, kind of so maybe I bring that the shadows down a bit and then just make sure I keep the same smoothness um, but I might not mess with it too much I think we're okay. So yeah, 